we are yet again in a Hyundai Ioniq electric and this time I have a newer car so I'm gonna do another range test but actually two tests so uh, where do we start okay uh, the previous car I tested was kind of old it was all one year old and it didn't do that much mileage like uh, one uh, what was it, 10 thousand kilometers but uh, I noticed that the battery was lower than it should be. I, I managed to pull out about 25 kilowatt hours, whereas earlier I was about I was able to pull out almost 27. It was, I think it was over 27 kilowatt hours. So uh, that led me to believe that uh, that press car, the white uh, model, uh, the, the white Ionic I tested earlier, uh, maybe was sitting still at 100 percent. Or I don't know. They must have abused the battery. That's my theory. So that's why I want to do another test now today with this one, which is about uh, seven, yeah, seven, eight months old, and uh, it has done only five thousand something kilometers. So that's better. Uh, so hopefully they haven't abused this battery. But it, this is still a press car, and it seems like these press cars, they um, they tend to you know, they they charge it to hundred percent, and then they let it s sit there for long uh, until you know uh, some journalist wants to take it for a spin. So of course. Uh, it's not like relevant I and mean, this is not how most people will treat the batteries they will you know charge it to 100% uh to the in the morning and then they drive and then you know the batteries are going up and down so it, most people won't charge to 100% and let it set, sit still and degrade faster so uh, we are now charging it up to 100% now one thing i don't like about ionic or uh, it's kona i uh, sorry well kona probably also but um um kia soul ev is that the fast charging will stop at uh, 94 percent and then i have to switch to ac to do the the remaining six percent all the way to 100 percent yeah so it's a little bit cumbersome it takes much longer time uh but um yeah again you know most people are not going to charge to 100 percent when they are on long trips they will charge to 94 percent mainly and then of course uh, when you slow charge at home that is ac so then it doesn't matter then it will charge 100 percent so of course it's not a big deal for most people but for me who wants to test this car it's a little bit cumbersome oh and it is also very cold today <laughs> minus nine degrees celsius this is colder than usual in oslo so um yeah um it's a little bit uh disadvantage for uh, for the ionic that i test today and also the wind is kind of strong but after all this is a winter test well, you see, the reason I wanted to redo this test was, of course, well, like I explained in the beginning here about the battery, but also uh, um, I realized that, you know, testing this car at 80, 85 kilometers per hour is not relevant for most people. So most people drive faster in most other countries. But on the other hand, that 80, 85 kilometers per hour test was to simulate... Um, EPA or NEDC uh, where where you have a mix of city driving and highway driving but at least today I will do I will actually I'm gonna change my test procedure a little bit so from now on I will have two tests it's going to be the 90 kilowatt laser oh, the 90 kilometers per hour speed test that will be the first run and then the second one will be I think I will manage about 110 kilometers per hour. I had to drive like I stole a car. Uh, but in Norway, we don't have too high speed limits. So I cannot do 130 kilometers per hour test, unfortunately. But at least I should be able to average more than 100 kilometers per hour average. And then my, my maximum cruising speed would be about 120 ish. Yeah, which is barely legal. But yeah, that will work. We are going with the traffic flow. All right, we are at 100%. So off we go. We have been driving for about 20 minutes now and uh, it is very windy outside Oof. and cold also minus 10 degrees Celsius here so uh, um, well it's a little bit unfair but <laughs> we just have to do it at least we have dry road most of the places so that is an advantage usually it's wet on the road in winter so this is still considered a winter test but uh, see here consumption is at 195 <laughs> now we have gained some elevation and of course we are fighting the headwind uh, once we turn back we will go slightly downhill and also ride on the tailwind again so let's drive it down to about 50 percent and then we turn back so you see uh, what is important this time is that i set the cruise control to 94 kilometers per hour because i checked the gps and this is uh, pretty close to 90 kilometers per hour real speed yeah, so every car will have different uh, like uh, speedometer uh, offset. So 
So uh, yes, we try to replicate uh, as uh, as close to real life uh, driving condition as possible. Oh look, look, the wind is blowing almost straight at us now. Wow, we have a little bit of side wind, but mostly headwind. That means the consumption will drop a lot when we get back. So uh, right now, 186, still very high. Yeah. So um, you see here, um, we have 57%. So we better think about going back soon. Uh, but I mean, we we consume 50% going here, but we should consume like maybe 45% going back again. So uh, yeah, I don't want to run it all the way to zero. So let's uh, let's leave about 5% of buffer in the bottom. Okay, this is it. We are at 50% stable charge. So um, let's try, find the first place to turn around, go back again. And so far we have done 77 kilometers. Hmm. I hope I didn't drive too far because I'm uh, 51 kilometers away from uh, Fort Dunn Fast Charger and uh, we have, well, according to GOM, we have 51 kilometers range left. <laughs> uh, but the consumption is dropping and dropping now. I hope it drops enough by the time we get to the Fast Charger. Oh shit, uh, I think I pushed it too far. We have four kilometers of range left. Oh, we are in turtle mode, and uh, we are four kilometers away from the fast charger. Please don't die on me now. I don't want to die now. We have lots of traffic. This was a bad idea. Three percent left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, I went to IKEA instead. Oh. We're finally here, we still have 3% left. We are in turtle mode, the car is very sluggish. Let's turn around and plug it in. Okay, before we plug in, let me see. We have spent 97%, we have 3% left. Okay, uh, consumption 160 watt hour per kilometer, uh, 157 kilometers. We could, could probably stretch it to 160 kilometers, uh, 100 miles. Yeah, average speed was 90, yeah. All right, let's plug it in. Okay, so I did some quick math and I estimated that uh, this car has um, about uh, 26 kilowatt hour available. So that is also slightly higher than the other car I tested earlier, the white uh, Ionic. So, um, hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, wh why are we, are we not getting more than 27 kilowatt hours? Because I, I'm pretty sure I got that earlier, like over a year ago. Uh, it could be that there are some software changes that have changed, you know, the, the, the battery settings a little bit. I mean, it's still the same, same battery, but maybe they have changed the threshold on the minimum and maximum. We don't know. Or maybe uh, this press car also has been slightly abused. So, uh, you know what? Maybe I should do a test with someone who recently received their, their uh, Ionic and... Uh, yeah, see if I can get more than 27 kilowatt hours. Uh, now there's another the theory that um, uh, the, the output was fairly high in the first leg. And with high output, you get more heat loss. So even though the, the output was lower on the way back with tailwind, uh, you know, the, like the damage was already done, you know. Uh, so, and also it's very cold today. It's minus nine. It's minus nine here was minus ten over there over like Minnesota. So, very cold weather that also affects the um, uh, the output. I mean the power output, which means more heat loss. So of course maybe if we tried on better conditions, we would get more uh, energy out. Uh, but still, 160 kilometers. Well, it's okay. And maybe worst case scenario, you get 160 kilometers, 100 miles in winter at 90 kilometers per hour so um unfortunately i am not able to test the 110 kilometers per hour like high ish speed test because uh, now it's almost three in the afternoon and there's too much traffic now so i have to wait until another day to test it but yes uh so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this more realistic test so talk to you later